Hey, Gemini. So, if I sound funny, it's because I just got my tongue pierced yesterday and my tongue is swollen. Also, if you would like to check out my hair, then there is a link down in the description box where you guys can check that out. I get a lot of compliments on my hair and my eyelashes, so you guys can check that out in the description box. Also, the phrase that I was getting for you guys is don't stress. So, definitely don't stress. <laughs> Whatever you're going through, I know it's a lot easier said than done, but don't stress about it. We have the Ace of Wands here. It can be done with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, with Sagittarius. We have the Five of Coins and the Lover's card. So I'm definitely feeling like you could feel a lack of something from someone. So I'm kind of feeling like a lack of love from somebody. But they could feel a lack of love from you. We do have the Fool card here. Definitely could be done with the Aries. So you could have jumped into a situation with someone with a Fool. Maybe you feel like as if there's just a lack. A lack of truth. A lack of anything really we have the world card here in reverse the cycle here there's a cycle that you're going through with this person the advice here can be since it's in reverse could need to come to an end or you could be considering um having this cycle come to an end now with the lover's card here you guys can have a very physical relationship so like maybe the passion is there the love isn't the love is there the passion isn't it's like with five pentacles there's something missing or there's a lack of something so with the Six of Cups, this person could be an ex, someone from your past. Where's the advice? Okay. Mm. I don't like this. So the Moon card with the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is my third party card. I know most people use the Three of Cups. I use the Three of Swords because it kind of associates with heartbreak. There could be a third party in this situation where you have other options. This person has other options. We have the moon card here. It could be done with a Cancer or a Pisces. But the moon is a secret. There's there's a secret. This It could be a secret water sign. We have the Queen of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What are the messages for Gemini? Okay. Mm. Six of Swords. Yeah. You could be moving on from this person. Or this could be advice to move on. Six of Swords. We do have the Sun card here, so you could be done with a Leo. I'm kind of feeling like somebody has someone on the side that someone doesn't know about or is trying to keep a secret. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay, yeah. There's a water sign somewhere. There's the King of Cups. You could be getting news regarding a child as well. You could be having a new beginning with a water sign. So I've the five of coins. I'm getting a lack of emotion as well. Maybe you feel, maybe you've stopped feeling for this person or vice versa. But yeah, a lack of stability. The Knight of Wands in reverse. There's a lack of stability with this person. Or this is mental, emotional, or financial stability. Yeah, you're, there's an Aries here, the Emperor. Someone can be very controlling. I have the Lover's card. Page of Cups. Yeah, you could have a lot of offers. I do feel like you do have other offers here. Or you have other options. Clarify the Fool. Why is the full card here? Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. The Ace of Swords with the Three of Cups. You can, th This third party situation is going to become very clear to you or very clear to them. Clarify the world. Page of, ooh. Okay, so the world is a cycle. The Page of Swords is news regarding a child. Somebody could be pregnant. You could be getting pregnant. Or somebody else. Shit, could all go vice versa. Or somebody... This could be why it's making it very fucking clear. They could have got somebody pregnant. Mm. Okay. Clarify the Six of Cups. Okay. <laughs> so clarifying the Six of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. Definitely someone from your past. This could be someone from their past. Maybe they got someone from their past pregnant. It could be a Virgo. We do have the, um, the hermit here. This could be the advice. It's kind of go hermit mode. Take care of yourself right now. Focus on yourself, your own emotions. 
Butterfly Lemon. The Chariot. Yeah, definitely could be done with a Cancer. Somebody wants to secretly move on, move forward. Okay, hello. I'm also getting secret money. Someone have money hidden. That's a weird message. Clarify the Three of Swords. Yeah. Money. We have a star card here as well. So it's like, I feel like somebody secretly wants this to end. But money could be keeping you guys together. Okay, hello. Oh. Clarify on the Six of court Swords. We have the Ten of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Death card. So I'm feeling like somebody could feel, someone's going to walk away with a lot of regret. Maybe a regret of wasting time. You wasted their time, they wasted your time, however it goes. Somebody's going to feel, they're going to walk away feeling upset. Very upset about something. But this is ending. Ten of Swords is an ending. Death card is no coming back from. So this cycle is ending. I'm feeling like with Ten of Swords, this is like ultimate betrayal. Like, you have to end it because, like, you know, what the, the it's almost like what this person tells you. And I feel like they're going to tell you. Or somebody's going to tell you. With the Ace of Swords, this is communication. That you have to end it. There's no going back from whatever information is about to come out. Damn, the star card can be showing itself to me. There could be an Aquarius that is significant to you. But the star card is the truth. Like, someone's going to show you their true, authentic self. Like, she's naked because there, there's nothing to hide here. Someone's going to show you their true, authentic self. Whether this guy is good or bad. It's looking not so good. So they have the four of wands here. Focus on your own stability. Financial, mental, emotional stability. What is the advice? Okay, I'll let that just go. Ooh, okay, yeah, we have the Page of Cups here twice. There's another offer here. Almost like accept another offer or go for another offer. What is the advice for Gemini? Okay, yeah, Eight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. You have a new offer coming in. It's looking it's looking more positive. We have um, the Hermit here. Keep it down with the Virgo or Sagittarius with Temperance. But yeah, you're going to get some communication that there is no going back from. Because I feel like you and this person have history with the Six of Cups here. So, anyway. I hope that this was a good reading for you, Gemini. If you would like a personal reading, there's information down below on how you could get one. And enjoy the rest of your week.